Hello everyone. Today our topic is about formulating research title. And we will start with the context of the new normal in K-12 education. New normal education is the adaptation to learning challenges in the midst of a health crisis. It is the shift from conventional classroom interaction into e-learning platforms or from active classroom pedagogy into digital learning initiatives. The new normal education requires more innovation, intervention, or digital strategy to achieve full mastery of the learning competencies in the absence of physical interactions in the classroom. This issue in education requires action research. Educators, learners, and parents need to adjust and embrace technology. There is a dire need to reform the facilitation of the learning process and achieve work productivity while staying safe at home. The actual gap here is the capacity of the Department of Education to meet the higher demands of quality education in times of pandemic and how their initiatives address resiliency in years ahead. And today, we will discuss how educators may address the following theme that may help us formulate our own research titles. And the theme that I will use to my discussion is Bringing relevance to e-learning, alternative delivery of quality instruction. It is necessary to expand the relevance in the provision of e-learning for the pursuit of quality instruction, especially in the midst of health crisis due to severe acute respiratory syndrome coronavirus or SARS-CoV-2. And in relevance to our presented theme, these are some of the DepEd initiatives like ebook, module, school learning kit or SLK, and video presentations in YouTube or Facebook. These are all the alternative delivery of quality instruction that will help all the learners to master the most essential learning competencies released by the Department of Education. Action research has variables, independent and dependent. The independent variable is the immediate solution to the identified classroom or school problem like innovation, intervention, or strategy. While the dependent variable is the identified problem itself, which is the center of improvement to be addressed immediately. In other words, Independent variable is a variable that is manipulated either by the researcher or the stimulus, input, or predictor variables. While the dependent variable is a variable that is observed or measured, can be influenced or changed, known as response or output. To specify, let us say that you observe your learner's less participative in the class, since lack of motivation and have poor test scores during quarter tests. So let us say that you decided to improve both of their critical and creative thinking skills, and you plan to make set of activities that will stimulate their brain to have more thinking exercises. So the independent variable is the possible solution itself, the teaching pedagogy, that you think may help you change the dependent variable which is the major classroom problem. In this example, brain-based learning approach will serve as the independent variable and the learner's academic performance is the major classroom problem. So we have now a possible solution to the major classroom problem. And our action research title could be Improving learners' academic performance through the utilization of brain-based learning approach. In this study conducted by Arsenas 2017, the following action research title was formulated. 
the effects of cooperative reflective learning approach on learners' achievement and self-concept. The independent variable is the cooperative reflective learning approach that helped the researcher to improve the independent variables which are the achievement and self-concept. As you see, this study has two dependent variables that require two research instruments to measure each variable, the achievement test and the researcher-made instrument about self-concept. Always remember, dependent variable must be measurable. Some researchers utilized effects, effectiveness or impact in research title. But there are instances that these terms can be excluded to make the research titles more creative. For example, bridging the gap on enrollment rate through intensive integrated marketing approach, basis for enhanced school improvement plan, SIP. In this study, the researchers used explanatory sequential mixed design. The independent variable is the intensive integrated marketing approach, while the dependent variable is the enrollment rate. The instrument of the study described learners' decision in choosing which school to enroll and what strand to take in senior high school. Also, the findings of the study were utilized to formulate Enhanced School Improvement Plan, SIP, and Input Process Output or IPO model was used. Another example. During research proposal, Arsenas 2018 submitted a research title containing the word effects. But during the final action research submission, he omitted the word effects to make the title more appealing to the readers. And the same conceptual framework of IBDB model was used. Here are the other examples of action research titles. Filling the gap in comprehension skills, increasing learners' vocabulary through word mapping, mastery of science concepts through collaborative content-based approach, improving learners' numeracy skills through the utilization of game-based approach. Now, let me present to you my formulated research titles under the theme, Bringing Relevance to E-Learning. Alternative Delivery of Quality Instruction. First, the effects of e-learning platforms on teachers' efficiency, students' achievement, and parental engagement in new normal education. Second, new social behavior and its impact to students' achievement and interpersonal skills. Third, school stakeholders' perspectives on using alternative delivery of instruction for academic learning. So those are the research titles that I am planning to consider if I will make a research work this school year. Anyway, I want you to remember that research titles should be within the researcher's interest and field of specialization, practical, and addresses the needs of the learners, is specifically presented measurable using research instruments, either standardized or researcher-made, objectively stated using appropriate statistical methods, realistic based on the transparency of collected data free from any form of manipulation, within the scheduled time frame, and free from any personal moral judgment. And I would like to share with you my learnings from Dr. Alvin Nuki, my research professor at La Consolation University, Philippines in Malolos City. He reminded us that before you could pursue your study, you have to ensure that there must be a conceptual and research literatures related to your study. There must be an adequacy of presentation in reference to the problem, research design, and significant findings of the previous studies. You cannot write your studies without reading the literature first. And for our next topic, we will discuss the difference between the blank spot and blind spot of literature. So, my challenge to you guys, please think about a good research title that will address your identified major problem 
and relevance to the new normal in K-12 education and initiatives done by the Department of Education or your respective school. Again, thank you and happy writing. Keep safe, everyone.